Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Stable update video. Tonight we're going to be checking out the new updated Welsh ponies. So of course I had to bring my own original Welsh pony, Moondust, with me and she's got her little seal ripple, I think. <laughs> she is the second horse, well actually the first horse I ever bought and my second horse ever on Star Stable. So I've had her for quite a while and I actually forgot that there was an update tonight until I was scrolling Instagram. I was like, oh wait, there's an update. <laughs> so the first one is, you know what, I'm not going to be that person. Let's move my horse over here. I don't know why I went in there. The first one is here in Fort Pinter and the others are at South Hoof. Oh, look at this Black Arabian. We're not here for the Black Arabian. Although these guys do have a little bit of a dished face, which I find really cute. Um, because they kind of remind me of Mini Arabian. So this is the White Grey. First thing I noticed is the green eyes, which I do not like. I don't like unnatural eye colors on horses unless they're magic horses. Even then, I'm kind of picky. These are bright green eyes. I, I really don't, and even sometimes they do like blue, blue, they do a lot of blue eyes as well. I really like dark, dark brown eyes because they remind me of real life horses and I just think, oh, that's weird. I think they just look so lovely. Um, let's go into photo mode and look at this. Look how bright green those eyes are. I, mm, I'm not a fan. That already is putting me off this horse. Um, so their default mane has a braid in it, which is kind of weird because I thought these were meant to be wild horses. Why is their mane braided? I think a long, kind of messier looking mane would have been better. Um... I can definitely see the resemblance. I've seen a few Welsh ponies in real life and I can definitely see the resemblance here. Quite nice looking. Are they missing chestnuts? I don't see chestnuts on the back legs. Oops. Let's see. Uh, they don't have chestnuts. That's weird. Estes has been putting chestnuts on a bunch of horses recently. Um, the shading here on the legs is kind of strange. I'm not sure what exactly that is. Um. This one looks okay. I, the, the overall body shape and things, I think um, they did a good job with the breed. Let's see how tall it is compared to Moondust. Oh, and there's another person's Welshie there, which we'll look at in a second. Let's just... Um, uh, we'll do this so we can see well. Oops. Okay. Um, okay, so Moondust's butt sits a bit higher. And it's a bit bigger. She's actually taller. Yeah, she is. Look at her. She's... Moondust is actually much taller. Which is interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Um, it could just be the side that we're standing on. So I'll come and stand on this side. Oh yeah, she's way taller. Interesting. So they've made these ponies smaller than um, the old ones, much smaller overall. Um, oh wait, I was gonna read the information, that's right. <laughs> that's something I forgot to do, let's hop down with my horse. Oh, uh, look at this pretty Appaloosa. I still haven't bought one. I'm still deciding which color. I bought one on my alt, but not on my main. Okay, so this one you can get from level one. I'm not sure about the other ones in Fort Pinter. I think it's level seven, I don't know. Um, they're 800 star coins, which is a bit steep for a pony. But I believe they do have a special gate. And these are the type B Welsh ponies. There's three types, I believe. A, B, and C. And they're all a little bit different. For thousands of years, Wales has been home to the beloved Welsh pony. The breed was shaped by the land and the people developing into a hardy and durable pony that thrived in tough conditions. Some have survived as wild herds dating back countless generations. Others worked alongside farmers, while others still were pampered by royalty. By the Middle Ages, the breed was established as a strong and speedy pony, just as suited for pulling a plow as it was to charging into battle, and came in a variety of sizes. It wasn't until the 1900s that they were formally divided into sections in stud books based on height and build. Rumour has it the Wild Welsh ponies of South Hoof were originally owned by the Winterwell family, forgotten and left to roam free. This suited them fine, and the ponies flourishing on the peninsula. But their adaptability meant many Yorvegians had a Welsh pony companion, perfectly suited for work, war, and leisure riding, uh, and leisure in Yorvik's climate. 
They are quick learners, taught, taking to any discipline they are trained in with a cla the classic friendly pony personality. They are just as varied in their coats, coming in all solid colours. This Welsh Pony is the riding type or section B and the lightest of the Welsh Pony types. Though more refined, they have not lost their mountain pony heritage and are still as tenacious and ready to gallop over any terrain. All they need is a friend to travel with who can keep up with their stamina. Okay, so maybe the old Welsh ponies are a heavier type because um, Moondust certainly looks heavy and her face is straighter. It doesn't have as much of a... Oh, so it's still... Yeah, it doesn't have as much of a dish as these guys do. So maybe these guys are... These guys, I know that these guys are a different type, but they might be a heavier type. Maybe more the type for pulling plows. I don't know. Let's... Oops, that's not where I want to go. <laughs> Let's go to South Hill Farm, not Starshine Ranch. And we will check out the others. Oh, wait, no. They're not at South Hill Farm. They're at the Hermits. I'll have to... I'll trail her back again because I can't be bothered running over to the Hermits. Okay, we eventually got there. <laughs> So here they are, they've replaced the old ponies, and you know what, real quick, actually, you know what, I'll check out the colours first and then we'll see if they've replaced the wild running ones. Oh look, here's the Rabicano Arabian. I'm looking at like all the horses except for the Welshies. Okay, here we go. So here we have a Bay Roan, and this one also has green eyes. Why do these horses have green eyes? Yeah, I'm not a fan of this color. Let's see it during the during the daytime. It's got pretty. They're not as bright, I don't think, as the white one. But they have green eyes. Why on earth does it have green eyes? The fur texture on this one's nice. Um, for white socks. Not much I can say about this. It's kind of just meh. I don't like the default mane. It looks a bit too straight. It kind of reminds me of... I'm not sure what it reminds me of. <laughs> it reminds me of a, a different horse in a different game. Um, yeah, I, I don't really like this one. There's not much I can say about it. I mean, I, I don't know how much I like them. Their eyes look really big and buggy. Does anyone else see that? I don't know why I did that, because there's literally no one around. Are you serious? This one has purple eyes? This horse has purple eyes. I mean, it's kind of cute, but why? Why can't we just have natural color eye colored horses? This is a black one. Its coat looks pretty dull, to be honest. And its eyes are purple, like... I feel like this is My Little Pony. Like, why does this horse have purple eyes? It's not a magic horse, it's just... I don't know if I like it. Why does it go purple eyes? I'm really, I'm really annoyed. Please tell me some of them have natural colored eyes. It is such a big pet peeve of mine when a non-magical horse has colored eyes. Oh, let's just wait for it. There we go. Their eyes look really buggy. Okay, let's see. What color eyes do you have? These are light brown. They're still too light for my liking. I feel like they need to be darker. Um, this one's coat looks really dull as well. Like, there's no shine to it. The mane and tail seem really different to the coat. Like, they don't seem like they match with the coat. This coat almost looks like it has, like, like dust on it. Like, I want to clean this horse off. It looks like it's really dusty and you can't really see the shine. And the, the mane and tail really don't match with them. I was really excited for these horses when they first, like, teased them. But so far... I'm really not liking what I'm seeing. Let's look at the Palomino, which is one that caught my eye in the trailer. Um, because it's a really pale Palomino. Look at that. <sighs> it has orange eyes. Its eyes are orange. Why can't we just have horses with dark eyes? I do like the dapples on this one. Um, and the mane and tail are nice. Um, all the white specks that come up from the socks are cool. It, this horse is levitating. But I love these white specks that come up. Kind of reminds me of a Sabino. They got some nice face detailing. But why is it, are its eyes orange? Let's have a look at the others. Um, oh wait, there's only one more. Oh, really? 
I don't know why I thought there'd be more. So this is another one that also caught my eye in the trailer. What colour are its eyes? Oh my gosh, this one has the darkest eyes of them all. Why can't they all have nice dark chocolatey brown eyes like this? Like I would like the eyes even darker, but like for Star Stable, these, these are nice dark eyes. This is another one that caught my eye in the trailer. Um, it's cute. I think it would look much cuter with um, a different mane. And I think if I do end up getting a Welsh Pony, it'll be this one because I like it the best. Its eyes look the most normal, but definitely not a fan of the mane. But I, this one definitely caught my eye when I saw it. Um, is it just me or does this shade in here and some of the shading on its legs look kind of green? It could just be my monitor, but it looks kind of green to me. Again, this horse, it, its coat looks kind of dull. Like, there's... I understand they don't want to make extremely shiny horses like they used to, but some of these horses that they've been releasing lately, like, their coat doesn't have any shine to it, and a good healthy coat should have a bit of a shine to it, whereas these coats look really dull, and, like, they need a diet change to... Um, make their coats a bit healthier. I'm gonna go run around. Oh, wait, let's see what the conditions are for these guys. You need to be level 7, and I believe you need to have a certain reputation level with the Hermit to get these guys. Um, like, see, Moondust is a little bit shiny, but I feel like she's not too shiny. I don't know. I'm gonna see if they replaced the wild running ones with new ones. These guys, oh, and here are the old ones over here. These new ones, I'm disappointed. Their eyes are a bit big and buggy. I wouldn't mind it so much if they didn't have all these crazy eye colors. One thing I love about horses is their eyes. And most horses have dark, dark eyes, which I find so beautiful. And no, they have not changed these horses. I'm surprised. I would have thought they would change the wild running herd. Um, but they haven't. I'm gonna see if I can find some different people with different main styles on their horses. Okay, so I found some of the other members of my club. Oh my gosh! Look how cute the Palomino is with a longer mane. I swear, this should have been the default mane. This looks way more realistic for a wild pony, doesn't it? Let's have a look during the daytime. Oh... If this, if this Palomino had darker eyes, I think I would fall in love with it. Look how cute it looks. And here is the liver chestnut with, is that the same? Is that the default main or is it different? I think it's different. I think it's a shorter version of the default main maybe. Um, and here is the Bay Roan with the braids. It actually looks pretty cute with the braids. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and they also have a braided tail. I was hoping someone would have the chestnut, but they don't. Um, okay, and Emily's floating. Okay. I would love to see the chestnut with the long mane. Um, okay. Emily's floating and her horse is walking away. This is fine. This is normal. <laughs> what is even happening right now? She's taking the whole wild horse thing to a new whole new level. Like she's lunging her horse while she levitates. <laughs> I'm just, I'm waiting for it to go back to normal, but it hasn't yet. She's still over there. <laughs> I'll have to show her this video afterwards. <laughs> they do look pretty fancy with the braids. I won't lie. I think I'll have to see what the chestnut looks like with this long mane style, because it's definitely my favorite mane style. And if it looks cute, then I might get it, but I don't know. Yeah, I've seen the rest of them. Um, I don't know. Oh, there we go. <laughs> She's back on her horse. I don't know. The Palomino is really tempting me, but the eyes really bother me. If I don't end up getting one, that's okay, because I still haven't gotten an Appaloosa yet. Um, I... Part of me gets annoyed when SSO puts out horses that, you know, I really don't like. But at the same time, it's kind of good because it means I save star coins. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Let me know what you guys thought of the new Welsh ponies. They're, they're not the worst. 
Oh, the Frisians. They're okay. I I might get one. I might get the chestnut. Might just save my star coins. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!